Hey Caleb, I just want to review what we did last time in our lesson. So we're going through the first three inversions of our A minor pentatonic scale, right? But we're really going to be applying them to E minor pentatonic here in a second, but I just want to review the first three inversions of A minor and then we're going to put it in E minor and I'm going to show you how that applies to life in the fast lane. So check this out. The first three inversions go like this. We're going 5-8 on the low E, 5-7 on the A, 5-7 on the D string, 5-7 on the G, 5-8 on the B, 5-8 on the high E. And then come back up with it. All right, come up, second inversion. Remember, we're starting on that second note of this one, right? So, eighth fret of your low E, 10th fret of your low E, A string, we're gonna go seven, 10, D string, seven, 10, G string, seven, nine, Come up a fret, we're gonna go eight, 10 on the B string, eight, 10 on the high E, and then come back down. All right, and this, this third one looks like this. We're gonna go, remember, it's starting on the second note of this one. Starting right there. 10th fret of your low E, and then 12th fret. Same thing on the A string. And then same thing on the D string, 10, 12. Come down a fret, we're gonna go 9, 12 on the G. 10, 13 here on the B string. And then 10, 12 of your high E. And then come back down with me. And then if you wanted to resolve it, because we're in the key of A minor, remember fifth fret of your low E is a, an, an A right here, okay? So now we're gonna start in E now, okay? So we're gonna start with our open low E in this case. We're in the key of E minor for life in the fast lane, by the way. We're gonna be using all three of these inversions. So the first inversion, so this inversion, for the key of E minor, you can do it right here on the open low E. So open low E, third fret of your low E. And then open A, second fret of your A. Open D, second fret of your D. Open G, second fret of your G. Open B string, third fret of your B. Open high E, third fret of your high E. And then backwards, we're gonna start with third fret of your high E. Second inversion looks like this. We're gonna start on this third fret. This note right here is a G. And that's gonna be three, five. Two, five on the A. Two, five on the D. Two, four on the G. Three, five on the B. Three, five on the high E. Come back down with me. All right, and this last inversion, which is where the first riff of Life in the Fast Lane is coming from, just be, be, be very aware of this. It's five, seven, five, seven on the A now, five, seven on the D. And then four, seven on the G. On the B string, we're gonna go five, eight. And then we're gonna go five, seven on the high E string. All right, I'm gonna play it backwards, here we go. We want to resolve it. All right, so I'm going to play through all three of those uh, just right now where you can kind of see the parallel of, uh, I just want you to see the sh quote unquote shape or, or the outline of these uh, inversions. So check it out. All right, now I'm gonna do it in A minor again, that way you can kind of see the parallel, okay? So just notice that this lick, or this, this inversion, is the same as this. Except this one's an E, and this one's an A minor. And then this inversion in E minor, starting on that G note, is this one starting on this C note right here at the eighth fret in A, so. 
and then this is the inversion. You see how these, these two right here, and this one, are the same shape. We've just kind of transplanted that one to another part of the fretboard. And then the third inversion, so if we're in A minor, you've got this one. Now transplant that to the fifth fret. We're in E minor now. All right, so we've got, so the first riff of Life in the Fast Lane starts within this inversion right here, okay? So. Do you see how we, it's, it's. All right, we're using pieces of each one of these. We're, we're using pieces of each one of those inversions, okay? I want you to practice these three inversions in E minor, I mean also in A minor, of course, but I want you to practice Life in the Fast Lane now, um, but I want you to also try to think about these scales and how uh, the notes of this song are actually coming from pieces of that scale, okay?